Hey everyone, today's topic, the more you know yourself, the less you'll care about mistakes that you make and the judgment of other people. This is something I've come to realize in my own life because I've taken a lot of time to get to know myself, so now I know all these different facets of what makes me who I am, and that means when people have their judgments or opinions about me, I'm going to be far less likely to be swayed by them because I know myself well enough that I'll know immediately when other people have the wrong impression of me. And if they have the wrong impression of me, I've now grown to a point where I'm just not going to care. I don't really have much of a desire to try to prove people wrong and make them believe certain things like, oh, if you think I'm dumb, maybe you let me spend some time trying to show you that I'm intelligent. No, I don't care to play that game anymore. If someone thinks I'm dumb, they can believe that. Now I just take the route of, I know who I am, I know I'm not dumb, so I'm not going to care what other people think of me. And this also is incredibly helpful for when you make mistakes, because one of the main reasons why people don't like making mistakes is because of how it can be embarrassing. If you care too much what other people think of you, then naturally, you won't want to make mistakes because if you do something that makes you appear dumb to others, you aren't going to like that. It's going to be awkward for you because you're immediately going to be caring too much what those people think of you in the moment, their judgments, and if you assume that they're believing that you're stupid because you made a dumb mistake, well now you'll feel crushed. So work on getting to know yourself really well because then hopefully when you make those mistakes and people judge you you're not going to be as affected by it because even if they believe you're dumb which I know none of us really want that but even if it happens hopefully you won't care as much anymore because you'll know you're not dumb they can believe you're dumb as much as they want but if you're not actually dumb it doesn't mean anything. Like really, it truly doesn't. People can think whatever they want about you, but that doesn't make it real. It doesn't mean it's true. It's only true if you've done a lot of introspection and you've found that it actually is true. Like I've met some people who were, you know, the brightest and they even acknowledged that. They knew it. They had self-awareness surrounding that. But if you don't fall into that category and somebody believes you're dumb, why does it bother you? Like, it doesn't matter. It'd be like if you're tall and someone calls you short, like, <laughs> you're going to be thinking, I'm tall. Like, they called me short. That, That's kind of weird. That's not true. It's not factual, but whatever. You'll just move on. It's the same thing. If you know factual things about you, why should you care if people say something about you that isn't true by any means? So I wanted to make a video on this because I caught myself having a moment about this at work today where I made a really dumb mistake and in hindsight if I just read the instructions a bit more clearly I would have known that I was doing the wrong thing and I would have avoided it but instead I basically wasted my own time and did like half an hour to 45 minutes of work that was pointless because I didn't understand the instructions because I just kind of skimmed them over a bit because I didn't really care all that much I mean kind of at that point, which is unfortunate where I don't really care too much about my job. This happens with like every job I work. I always get to this point. For those of you who follow me for all, you know why, because I value freedom so much that unless I'm working like an amazing job with amazing coworkers and I really enjoy the work and the environment and everything, then I probably won't ever hit that point. But that's so hard to find. I've only found maybe like one job like that. So for now, every single job I work at, I hit this point. So I'm naturally at this point in my job, which means I'm not probably doing the work that I would be doing or the level of work that I would be doing if I cared about my job. So naturally, yeah, I make really stupid moves from time to time, but I just don't care. Like I'm sure the mistake I made today where I wasted my own time made my coworker who was involved in that work probably think that I'm not the brightest tool in the shed, but I don't care. Like I even caught myself in the moment after it happened. I was like, she's going to think I'm an idiot now, but I don't care. Like I was just unbothered by it. And it kind of, it was funny to me because it made me realize the importance of knowing yourself because I started thinking, you know, my coworkers could think I'm like the dumbest person on the planet and that wouldn't make it true. I wouldn't give two shites about it. Like really, they could think whatever they want about me and I just wouldn't care all that much because I would know it's not true. It'd be unfortunate, of course, because you know, if your coworkers think you're not that smart, it obviously is going to affect your ability to be promoted and whatnot, but 
And that only truly matters if you really want to stay at that job for a long period of time. But in, in positions or situations, that I, should I say, oh my God, I'm tripping up over my words here. But in situations where the people around you aren't going to be able to dictate your future in any way whatsoever, you really shouldn't care what they think of you because it doesn't matter in the long run. Like unless they're going to stay in your life for long periods in the future, then of course that's different. But if these are people who are kind of transient in your life, like they're not going to be there forever, it doesn't matter if they think lesser than you than what you actually are. Like I said, they can still suck to some extent, but if you remove your ego out of the equation, it doesn't change anything. Like, like I said, people can believe whatever they want about you, but that does not make it true. Oh God, and one of the... Uh, a really a uh, probably polarizing example of this so it'd be all the false allegations that come out nowadays because it's a really unfortunate thing but Johnny Depp in his case hopefully this this example doesn't cause problems but I'm gonna go there anyway but in his case the whole world could think that everything Amber Heard said about him was true but in his mind he would know that wasn't the case he would be able to vindicate himself even if the entire world thought that she was right he would still know at the end of the day that that all those allegations were BS. So this is what I'm talking about. The whole world can think whatever they want of you, but that doesn't make it true. Everyone out there can be wrong or they could just have the wrong impression of you. They could have not taken enough time to get to know you. And that's fine. Like that's going to happen so often in life because very few people are going to be able to fully know us. <laughs> Barely few people. Barely anybody will take enough time to get to that point where they truly know us. I mean, I've had friends that I've known for years and it took them a long time to finally understand and know certain things about me because I just let people find out over time. Like, I don't go out of my way to explain who I am and different aspects of me and whatnot. So I've even gone on dates with women who... It's funny, like, I don't even tell them that I make these videos because I don't care about that. It's, I'll bring it up if it naturally comes up, but otherwise I don't really say it because I don't care to do it. So it's just, it's much better for people to get to know you over time naturally than do you constantly be trying to impress them or defend yourself and make yourself look it in their minds. It's just better to tackle life from that perspective of not caring so much what other people think of you because you already know yourself really well and what they think of you will not change that fact so hopefully you understood where i was driving at in this video because it feels like it was a bit of a roller coaster along the way especially with all the times my tongue was not cooperating with my brain and yeah <laughs> but hopefully you got the point of this one because i truly believe this way of thinking is really helpful where if you just take the time to get to know yourself you won't care so much when you make mistakes you won't care so much what other people think of you their judgments their opinions because it's just not going to phase you anymore you're going to know yourself so well you'll know when they're wrong and when they're wrong you're just not going to care so it's a powerful place to be but anyway that's all i have for you guys in this video i truly hope you enjoyed this one and if you like content like this be sure to subscribe for more otherwise the easiest way you can help me out is just to throw a like and a comment on the video for the algorithm and i will see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci.